Another earthquake warning for the Sweaty Palms area. Or as the hotels like to tell the tourists, it's time to look forward to another bouncy ground fun time. Enjoy your stay. Cleanup required. Dead patient in the corridor. Burger's first drive through has opened in Crockle Bay. Now you can order your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Thank you. 
A bit of a scandal this morning after it emerged that Jumbo Medical Solutions has been secretly extracting blood samples from people using Jumbo vending machines. The company says it's merely monitoring the health of all its customers, which is awfully nice of them, I must say.
Alison Cattle has sent us her favorite inspirational phrase. Love, she says, is the ladle that stirs the soup of life. I use a ladle to serve the soup into big bowls, not stir it. But I guess it works both ways.
Point Radio. Welcome to this fate-filled day. You join me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, at the sloop for opening day of the Grand Point Final, where the Flemington Languistine are set to play the Mole Men of Smogley. The question on everyone's mind, who is going to win after all of the various playing? Join me for Whack Off after this.
We are back, and it's been a flying start for the Languestine, the kind of start that would suggest it's more likely than not that you'll win eventually. Of course, it's still totally possible and plausible that they'll lose from this position, as many teams have before them. They'll continue to play, and we'll see what happens. to experience all that the pointy mountains have to offer. Stay at the Underlook Hotel. You'll never want to leave. Thanks. You're welcome. Amazing. Underlook Hotel. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
Breakthrough for the Mole Man! There it is. That'll be discouraging for Flemington, but the match is on. It's open and certainly still anyone's to play in. A quick update on the conditions. Our playing surface is holding up nicely, and whilst the cloud cover might come into play later, for now, it hasn't.
to Nigel Vickleworth on Two Point Radio. The first half of the day is in the books with the other half yet to be written. There's been a little bit of something for everyone so far, although it's unclear if that will last. Lucky for us, it's mostly up for grabs this afternoon. Join me, the return of play and my looming lunch after this.
terrible scenes here at the sloop as an assistant has spilled what appears to be cheese sauce in the press box. I think, yes, yes, it's on my leg. The wool blend won't like that. It's not looking good for the career of this once hopeful young upstart. Will she come back from this? In the opinion of this journalist, no.
I know you. You've always wanted a place to call your own. Good morning! Somewhere that somehow mixes the cool of the city <laughs> with the calm of the countryside. Welcome to Camouflage Falls. Coming soon to Two Point County. Camouflage Falls. Definitely what we say it is. This is Two Point Radio.
As we near the final chapter of today's play, it's time for Sir Nigel's Player of the Day. Today, that honor goes to Mortimer Pickles. His team would have not had the requisite number of players without him, and didn't he do it with characteristic grace and flair? It's a pleasure to see Pickles at the height of his powers, and today was certainly a day where that can be said to have been true.
It's been a fantastic day of organic theatre here at the Sloop. Join us for day two, or is it game two, tomorrow on Two Point Radio. If we're lucky, we'll be another day closer to a result in this year's Grand Point Final.